My name is Steve. Welcome back to my shop. Well, this is part three of the diamond grinding wheel crush dresser build. And in this part, I'm going to be threading the shaft on it that holds the grinding stone. And I'm going to prepare the shaft that it mounts on and do the final assembly which will include cutting some snap ring grooves. So let's get started. After this housing cooled down again from the final cuts, it actually shrunk up about another five tenths to almost a thousandth. So what I did, I put it back in the lathe and used some uh, emery cloth and cleaned it up a little bit to get it closer to where I wanted it. I put a little just a slight wipe of green Loctite down inside the housing. The bearing just starts to fit and I've got a socket that fits right on the outside lip of the bearing that to press it in. Okay, that's set now. And once the green Loctite sets, that should be in there for good. I decided to cut a snap ring groove in here to hold the bearing pack in place. So I ground up a tool bit Let's give it a try. Now this stainless ate that high speed steel bit to death. Just I tried to resharpen it a couple of times and it absolutely destroyed it. So I ended up using a miniature carbide threading tool that I've got to open up the hole and then I was able to square up the edges. So the uh, snap ring fits in there pretty good. I can live with that. I also decided to put a snap ring on the inside of the outside bearing so that the shaft could not pull out. Between that and the external snap ring, the shaft can't, can't come out of the housing when I'm using it. So let's see what happens. I cut a tool bit and try and plunge this groove, see what happens.
Okay, that looks good. That should do it. And here comes the final assembly. You need to uh, slide this bearing on here first. Oops. I've got a little burr there that I've got to take off. I had a little bit of a burr on there that kept the bearing from sliding on after cutting the snap ring groove. And I just take and clean all the oil off of here because I'm going to set everything in uh, green Loctite. Okay, let's see how this works. I'm going to slide that on there. I'll put the snap ring on the shaft. The bearing goes up against that. I'll take and put the lock tight on the bearing or on the shaft. Okay, now I'm going to put some Loctite on the bottom of this shaft where it goes through the inside bearing. I'll also Loctite the outside of this bearing. in there. The bearing slides in there. Now we'll put the inside snap ring To hold this bearing from being able to come out. Okay, that's there. And now I'll pull this forward and let all the Loctite. Oh, that's beautiful. Let all the Loctite uh, set up. When we come back, I'll put the grinding wheel on and we'll give this a try. Well, that wraps up the diamond grinding wheel crush dresser build. Here's the assembled part. It is beautiful, nice and smooth, seems to turn concentric. The uh, Loctite is still setting. The wheel mounts on here. And I have a nut. And I, I'll put a flat wash. I have half inch washers actually already made up for this. Uh, the other thing that I've got to do before I put the wheel on is make a, a paper disc for it so that 
to crush against the wheel. So that's a wrap. See you in the next video.